everyone, happy Wednesday. For today's video, we are going to be learning about the parts of a plant. And then we're gonna go outside and check out Miss Jenikin's garden and how much it has grown since the last time we did one of these videos. Um, so to get started, if you'd like to do this with me, I'm going to draw a flower. And I have my whiteboard here, but if you'd like to get a plain piece of paper and some markers and a pencil, we're gonna do a quick little drawing of a flower. And then we're gonna label the flower with the parts of the plant. So that way when we go outside, you'll know what the parts of the plant are and you'll be able to identify those parts with me. Are you ready to get started? Okay, go ahead and pause the video so you can get yourself some markers and a whiteboard or a piece of paper. Okay, I think we're done. You ready? Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to draw the grass at the in the kind of middle part, okay? So when I make my grass, I like to go up, down, up, down, like a zigzag line. Up, down, up, down, up, down, okay? And that's to show the grass because one of the parts of the plant that we're gonna talk about goes under the grass, okay? So go ahead and start by using green, preferably, since that's usually the color of grass, and make a zigzag line or whatever kind of grass you wanna make um, right about this point on your piece of paper, a little lower than the middle, okay? Then, when you're done with that, we're going to make a line going up and down. We're gonna make a vertical line going up, as straight as you can make it. Mine was a little curved there, but that's okay. Okay, and this is gonna be another part of the plant. Does anyone know what this part of the plant is? If you said stem, you are right. This is the stem of the plant. All right, so we're gonna label them at the end though. That's the stem, remember for later. The next thing we're gonna make is a little circle on top of the stick, of the stem, I mean. Oops, my orange is not working. I might need to use a different color and that's okay. Maybe I'll use brown. Yeah, that's okay. A little circle on top, like that. Is it looking like a flower so far? Good. The next part that we're going to draw come off of the stem. Does anyone know what those are called? Leaves, that's right. You can make your leaves any way you'd like to. The way I made mine was I went up in a kind of a curving motion and then I met it on the other side. You can also make circle leaves or pointy leaves because when we go outside, you'll see there's all different kinds of shaped leaves, okay? Next, you're going to make the petals of your flower. I'm gonna make my flower pink but you can make your flower whatever color you want to. You can even make it multiple colors, all right? And when we make our petals, we're gonna go around the outside, kind of like we're making a cloud around the circle in the middle, okay? So I'm gonna try to do it um, like this so you can see it, but I make a cloud and I just kind of start like this and I'm gonna just go keep going with that motion. It's okay if you go on top of the stem. Oops, <laughs> doing it sideways, it made mine look a little bit funny, so I'm gonna fix it. But if your, your petals can look however you want to, they can be round, they can be blue, they can be whatever you want, it doesn't matter. All right, you got your flowers so far? All right, the last thing we're gonna put is some little lines coming out from the stem underneath the grass, okay? So you're gonna make some squiggly lines like this. All right, and then we're all done. This is our flower. Now that you've drawn your flower, I'd like you to take a black or a pen or a pencil not a color, so you can really see your 
labels. Okay, can you say that? Labels. Um, if you were in my class, you know we do lots of labeling. It's really important as writers and scientists that we label um, so that way when we go out and explore, we know what we're looking for, okay? So the first thing we're gonna label is the stem. Can you point to the stem on your own flower? St stem. So I'm gonna make an arrow. This is how I make my arrows. You can also just make a little line if you'd like to, but make sure it's really specific. And now we're gonna write the word stem. S -s -s I am gonna let you try to spell it with me as we sound it out together, okay? It starts with a blend. St, st, st. You got the first part, the blend? St, eh, that vowel, eh. And then the ending, mm, st, eh, mm, stem. All right, you got your stem labeled? If not, you can pause it. I'm gonna keep moving on. The next thing we're gonna label is the leaves. The leaves, that's right. So we're gonna make an arrow pointing toward the leaf. And instead of writing leaves, I'm just gonna write leaf, okay? Leaf. If you want to try to write leaves and point or do a label for both, you can. Leaf. Beginning sound. L. Now remember, when I'm writing it, I'm starting over here because we don't want to go backwards. This might seem a little confusing, but when we're labeling, remember, we always write left to right no matter what. So you kind of have to make that little arrow and then start over here. It's going to be four letters. So you only need this much room. Uh, e. Now there's another letter after it, which is the letter A. Because when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So if you're in my class, you heard that before. Leaf, we see the E sound with E-A. These two vowels are walking and E is dominating it. He's saying E, Lee. Last sound is f. What letter is that? It's not a trick, I promise. Leaf. Good. So we've got the stem, leaf. Next, let's do the roots. Roots. So I'm going to make my arrow pointing to the roots. What's the first sound? Ooh. Who remembers what two letters say ooh? I'll give you a hint. You can make the shape with your mouth. Ooh. It's two O's. Root. Root. T -t -t. So root would be one root but we're talking about all of them. And so when there's more than one, we put an S at the end, right? So roots, the roots. So what's the last sound or the last letter? Roots. So we've got our stem, our leaf, our roots. Okay, let's do the petals next. Or you, maybe let's write flower or petals. Let's write petals, why not? P -p -p -p. P -p 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 Pet. Let's see if you can find those first three sounds. Pet. 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 And I'll just show you. Petals. Looks like this. Because petal is one. And then with an S at the end means more than one. Petals. All right. Now, this is the part where we have to use our imagination a little bit. For flowers... In this middle part here, they give off seeds. So if you remember from our last read aloud, or not the last read aloud, but the last, last time I did a gardening read aloud, we talked about seeds and how a seed is how a flower or a plant grows. And for flowers, the seeds are in the middle. So we're gonna do an arrow going this way. Um, I'm gonna make my arrow pointing Kind of like this. So you can still see it, but you know that I'm pointing to the middle. 
You could even put some dots in the middle of your flower to be even more detailed. I don't even know if you can see it, but putting some dots in there. And we're gonna write seeds. You know how to write the word C because it's a sight word. S e C seed d d d. And if there's more than one, what do you do at the end? Seed z with an S at the end. Seeds. All right, you can pause it if you're not done, if you wanna keep coloring it. Um, but at the end, you should have a labeled flower with petals, seeds, leaf, stem, and roots. Awesome. All right, are we ready to take this outside and start to look at Miss Jenikin's garden? All right, let's go. All right, here we are in my backyard. Uh, first, I'm gonna turn off the water because I was watering with something called a drip system. So it goes from the hose all the way to my garden. And I'll show you right now. I'm gonna turn around the camera. So the hose goes into here, and then it goes into all of those little lines to help the plants. All right, so on the left side of the garden, you can see my cilantro has gotten so much taller. So there's my cilantro. And here, you know, when we got this, it said yellow zucchini, but it looks way different than my other zucchini. And so we're actually gonna keep an eye on this plant. If anyone knows what this is, let me know because I think we got the wrong thing. Um, we've got a tomato in the back. Look at how big it got. You know it's a tomato because they've got these beautiful yellow flowers and the petals. Can we find the stem of this tomato plant? Hmm. Let's see, here's the stem. Can you point to the stem on your paper? Stem, that's right. And then we've got the leaves and the flower. The petals and the seeds would go in there. That's actually where the little baby tomatoes are gonna come out. Maybe we can spot, oh look! Little baby tomatoes are starting to grow. Amazing. Then we've got my snap peas are much taller. And you might have noticed I had to tie them up with some of this gardening ribbon. The ribbon helps to make sure that they stay where they should be. Going up the pole. And I don't think we have any peas yet, but I'll let you know when we do. And here's my other tomato plant. Now this area has my lettuce and some spinach, but we're actually gonna have to start pulling some of that spinach because um, we left it for too long. All right, look over here. Here is my summer patty zucchini. Okay, so the stem of this plant is here and the leaf, but actually this plant is technically considered a vine. And you can see a tiny, tiny, tiny little um, zucchini starting to grow. Isn't that cute? Oh, look, here's another tiny one. Do you see this plant's defense is these little spikes. So little bugs and stuff get poked. Even Miss Jenikin is getting poked. Ouch. All right, now on this side, I'll back up a bit so you can see the whole thing. We see our onions are growing. Now the onions, why do you think they're not as tall as they were before? Well, if you know about onions, you know that they grow under the ground. So actually, this plant, the roots is the onion, and this top part is kind of like the roots. Isn't that crazy? All right, let's look here. Here is my jalapeno pepper, much taller. Same with his sister over here, much taller. You see? And I label them with the little signs, jalapeno pepper. Oh, my tomatillos are falling over. It looks like I might need to get a stick to help lift you up. Oh no! Maybe I can lean them against there. There we go. Here's the flowers on my tomatillo plant. Let's see if I can zoom in. Isn't that so cool? They look really cool and you can actually see the seeds. Let's see if I can zoom in. See the seeds? Can you point to the seeds part on your picture? 
And then of course we've got our other tomatoes. Oops, I backed up too quickly. There we go. <laughs> we've got our other tomato plants in the background there. Maybe we can peek and see if there's any baby tomatoes starting to grow. No, not yet. Oh my goodness! That's not even a baby, that's a big one! Look at, they were hiding from me this whole time. Oh my goodness. So now they're green and the next color they're gonna be is what if it's a tomato? Red, that's right. It's gonna start to turn red soon. All right, so so far we've seen stems and leaves. Can you point to the leaves on your plant, on your picture? Yeah? The leaves are important because they help get energy from the sun. So when the leaves are big, like the zucchini, they help to soak up lots of the sun to help. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna show you a couple other flowers. This flower is a California poppy. And right now it's doing pretty well, except for a branch fell on it. And so it kind of got a little wobbly. And then here, this is an amazing plant. Are you ready, boys and girls? This is a, a passion fruit plant, okay? Passion fruit plant, and they're crazy. Look at this, ready? It's all coming from this stem. And the stem goes all the way up. And then it becomes a vine with lots and lots and lots of flowers. And you can see they're starting to bloom and some of them are not yet. And what we call this is a bud, bud, B-U-D, bud. And that's before it blooms. When it's open, it's called a bloom. Can you say that? And I bet you I'll find a really cool one. Oh, it's so high for Miss Jenikin to reach. Let's see if I can do it. Hold on. <sighs> they are so cool, these passion fruit blooms. Let's see if I can reach this one right here. They are so crazy. Look at that. It's so pretty. And you see the petals? All right, I'm gonna flip the camera again so I can show you our last part of the plant. Here's Miss Jenikin's garden. All right. Um, so before I show you the roots of a plant, I wanted to show you something that I just discovered. So right here behind me, I've got my big cherry tree. And I thought it wasn't gonna bloom this year because last year it didn't grow any cherries because cherry trees need to be next to another cherry tree. But our neighbors grew a cherry tree down there and I think this cherry tree got pollinated, which means that now I'm gonna have fresh, <gasps> Cherries! Oh, so if we really peek under here, you'll see the cherries. Are you ready? So you can see my little cherries that are starting to grow. They start looking this color, and then when they're ready to be picked, well, then they look like this, a little bit lighter. And then finally, when they're ready to be picked, they get to this darker color, which looks something like this. Cool, huh? And when it's a fruit tree and we have seeds, where is the seed? It's inside the cherry. Let's find it. Oh, there's the seed. Can you point to seeds on your flower? <laughs> awesome. Mm. Yummy. Maybe if I throw the pit, it will grow a new cherry tree. All right. <laughs> now the last part of a plant I want to show you is the roots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a weed out because weeds have the really craziest roots. So, and also I don't wanna pull any of my nice plants like my little lemon tree that's growing over here. Um, so I pulled this weed. Now you can see it's got tiny, tiny, tiny little things called roots and root hairs are the smaller ones and these help the plant get water and nutrients from the soil, the dirt, that's right. All right, this science video, parts of a plant and a tour of Miss Jenikin's garden is done. Oh, Misty's making um, 
a photo bomb over there. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope maybe you get a chance to go outside today and identify parts of a plant yourself.